In this series, we're going up and down the country to immerse ourselves and find out what lies at the heart of these sides and the communities they create. This is Club. We're in Cornwall getting to know the guys down at Perham Force Rugby Club who benefit from some of the most picturesque settings for the game in all of England. Well, thank you for welcoming us down in Perrinporth as we explore your wonderful rugby club. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what we're doing today? My name is James Hicks, play for Perrin, working here at um, Clestic Farm. It's general, general farm work and uh, yeah, we're going to go and feed some cattle in a minute. Nice, let's get to it. Hey James, we're here on the farm, so can you tell us a little bit about it? Well, I've been working here for a couple of years now, and it's a mixed dairy farm. Um, milk around 400 cows, and most of the milk goes into making the ice cream here on site. Nice! So, yeah, well, yeah. Um, what are we about to do now then? About to put their corn out so they can get fed and have their breakfast for the morning. So, That's crack on, shall Yeah. yeah. This will keep you fit. It does, yeah, yeah, and this is just part of it. I mean, there's fences to move and lots of walking. I mean, I've never had a, a count of my steps, so I should imagine it's quite a few in a day, like, so. Yeah, it'd be interesting to learn how many you do a day. It would, yeah, yeah. So, Hixie, tell us, how long have you been at the club for? I've been at the club around 17 seasons now. So, wow. when I first started, there was, you know, just gained promotion to Cornwall and Devon League. And then, since then, we've had a few few dips, shall we say, where we're trying to struggle to get a team for a Saturday on a Thursday night. But yeah, these past few years have really, really come, come good. So a big game this weekend, obviously yeah. local derby. Power and Forth v Newquay has been well, a long-standing local rivalry, even more so this year because we've got, I believe it's three boys come over from Newquay now playing in our first team. So there's oh. going to be a nice bit of friction there, I would have said. You mentioned that you've been at the club for 17 seasons now. And it seems to me like the rugby club is genuinely the heart of the community. What, what does the rugby club mean to the community that you're in, that you're part of? Well, a lot of players who come to Perrin, so they've never, they've never been at a club like it before. Like everyone's just really welcoming. So if you're a football player, you could walk in and have a beer. No one would say anything. It's like, yeah, take your money, have a beer. Because <laughs> there's so many people there and involved with the youth right up to the seniors. There's just so many people there and it's just, just a real hub, really. So we're on bag maybe eight of yeah. the morning and it's quite a physical job. Now, you said about 25, 30 kg a, a bag? Yeah, right? something like that, yeah. And we're doing it. Today yeah. you've got a hand, but on I presume on game day, you've still got to feed your animals. So yeah. do you do this on a game day as well? Yeah, I have every other weekend off. So that weekend I'm working, it's Saturday and Sunday. So yeah, it's, it's a nice little warm up before the game on the, on the Saturday. You mentioned to me that you've got a young family and obviously they come down to the rugby club and they love it. What is it that they love about it? Well, yeah, wife Emily brings down daughter Abigail and son Oscar and our daughter over the years loves just getting in behind the bar with Lisa and like just helping out and just running around really. Yes, yeah, because it's such a friendly club, you can kind of just let them go and yeah. it's ideal really. Obviously we're on a farm that produces ice cream. Is there any chance that we can go down and have a try? I think we've earned it, haven't we? I, th yeah. I mean, I think so, you're making it look yeah, easy. Yeah. I'm struggling here. Yeah, yeah, let's go for one then, shall we? Yeah. So, reviews on the ice cream? It is best ice cream around. It is, and yeah. because I helped make it um, and fed the cows that produce it, I think it's a solid 12 out of 10. Oh, I reckon you're right. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah. I'm off to see Finn Morgan now. Tell us a bit about him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice chap. Quick. Good rugby player, always has clean shorts at the end of the game, but yeah, One good lad, yeah, you'll do well, <laughs> you'll do well. Hi Finn, how are you? How are you going, alright? Yeah, good, thank you. I've spent the morning with Hixie down at the farm, yep. and he tells me that you always have clean shorts, so any chance you could elaborate on that? That's probably because he's a forward and I'm a fly-off. That'll do it. Okay, so he's saying in theory that you never hit a ruck. 
don't know about that. <laughs> oh, you we'll have see, to prove we'll us see, wrong. We'll see tomorrow, we'll see. We are down at Perrinforth Beach. Can you just tell us a little bit about what you do? So we work here seven months a year, just keeping bathers safe, swimming, bodyboarding, surfing, doing first aids on the beach, just making sure everyone's safe whilst they're having fun in the summer. Nice. Okay, and you've got to be pretty fit, am I right, to do a job like being I, a lifeguard? I guess so, yeah. We go through plenty of fitness testing and obviously rugby helps, but we do fitness testing. So in the pool, we have to do a 400 metre swim in under seven and a half minutes. We have to do an ocean run, swim and run in eight and a half minutes. Ooh. And then we also do a 200 metre run in 40 seconds. 200 metre run in 40 seconds yeah. on sand? On sand, yeah. Pretty tough? We can see if you want. Give it a go. Let's give it a go. Under 40. Oh, God. Nice. You got it on 35. Yes! Is that me or is that Meg? Meg's 35, Finn, you got 31. Okay. I'll so take that. Well, well, I'll start cruising. Front, <laughs> Meg, 35. It's good. I'll take that. Should have yeah. gone to pre season, Pass. though. Are there any other of the, of the rugby club, any other players that work with you down yeah, here? Yeah, there's several of us that work down here, so good couple. We've got other members around the beach. We've literally got the rugby club right right off the back of the beach so there's there's loads of us around there so yeah. do you utilize the beach for training at all we like? do yeah all summer long we'll be doing doing training on the beach every thursday night and then until pre-season then we'll hop back on the pitch but we do train on the pitch every every week in summer yeah nice so that's gonna be a pretty nice lifestyle it is nice especially when it's sunny can't yeah can't yeah. complain surfing surfing plenty of surfing yeah Down living you? yeah living right next to the beach everyone around there get gets a bit of surfing and yeah so you said there's a number of you that do a bit of surfing who's who's the best Oh, so we get a couple of the Aussies come over. They're pretty good surfers, but it's pretty it's pretty even around here. We got a few few good surfers in the club. Nice. If you had to say someone that was best, who would it be? Oh, out of the rugby players? Yeah. I'd probably have to take that one. I reckon. Oh, the confidence! I love it. Okay, so we we do know that you're not the only one that works down here at the beach. We are off to meet Tommy yeah. this afternoon. What's Tommy like? Tommy's a good bloke. Yeah, good rugby player, solid ball carrier, got good hands. He's a really, yeah, really good bloke. Top bloke. Okay, yeah. well, I look forward to meeting him and seeing yeah. you tomorrow. Hi, Tommy. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you, mate. Lovely setup you've got here. How long have you been running this? Oh, I've been here for life, family business. So, dad formed it 45 years ago as like a six by three meter shed. Uh, and I've come into it probably over like the last 10 years and just got, yeah, got in the mixer and uh, yeah, loved it. Anything I can do to help show what you do? I mean, whilst you're here, yeah, if you want to, if you want to jump behind a bar and pour some, pour some drinks, I'm not, not going to say no. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get stuck in. Yeah. <laughs> So how much is this place as a social hub? Obviously the rugby club is literally a stone's throw away. It's great, I think it's one of the best rugby communities I've been a part of for a while and I've been around in loads of different clubs and it's got that real, at the minute you can see there's a buzz, it's on the up and I've got friends who are playing like in much higher level rugby and they're going, oh, I want to come and play and I'm going, I don't think you'll get in the team mate. <laughs> and they're like, really? And I'm like, I generally don't because it is, it's such a, good talented bunch of lads and it's about I think it's about being good at rugby and a good good bloke as well and it's all um yeah it's, it's attracting the right people for the right reasons i guess so yeah it's, it's good it's game day here in perrinporth where perrinporth rfc are facing local rivals nuki and one of the many many good things about grassroots rugby is the post-match tease. So, being in Cornwall, there was absolutely nothing else that we could have had. And today, we are in a local pasty shop, and not only a local pasty shop, the supplier to Perrinforth RFC. Nice to meet you, Steve. How do you do? How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good, so I've heard lots of good things about your pasties, which is why I'm here to help out today. What goes into one of your pasties? 
standard Cornish pasty really, it's uh, onion, turnip, skirt, potato really. And nice, well they look great, so should we start boxing up for later on? Yes we can. It's game day. I'm here in my kit, ready to support the Brewers. Can you talk to us a little bit about your role and, and what you do here? I'm chairman of the club, been chairman for a few years. I've been here since I left Newquay, been here 30 years. Um, man and boy, player and now committee person and chairman. So Steve, how key are your volunteers at, at this club? I think as every rugby club throughout the country will understand, you, it just runs on volunteers. You know, we're no different to any other club up and down the country where it's the volunteers, it's the guy that maybe cuts the oranges or it's just the guy that marks the, guy that marks the lines, the guy that puts the posts up, the guy that, you know, is with no difference to any other club in the country where at this level it's all about volunteers. final day today, especially against Nuki in a big diving match. We've not had a league game against them for a good few seasons now, so this is the point to prove to them. We need to get up in their faces, get physical, do not give them any face, and let's have a bit of fun. Yeah? Come on, Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on, yeah, big game for us. Big one, all in. Yeah, it went very well. We got the win in the end, but we had to graph for it. I think there's lots of times on the try line there. We um, have put a lot of defence, they broke through in the end, but uh, I think it went very well. So, Hicks, you did mention that Finn's shorts are always clean. Yeah, um, well, Finn, opinions on your shorts today? I think my shorts are a bit dirtier than Hicks's today, actually. Yeah. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> 